hundred percent sure. Like you'll be able to sit here now and name five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players that you know that are capable and can play at the level, at the top level, that you you feel they could do that in the Premier League. But just because of the fact that they're English or being in England um, for such a long time, just haven't gotten the opportunity. Do you know what I mean? But you fully think that, and anybody around them fully thinks that they are capable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, going abroad, there's, a, there's there's definitely a lot of opportunities. So if you do get a chance, I definitely say for for um, players to definitely seriously consider it. You're at Watford and you have a few loans. Um, mm. Well, at the time, did you did you feel like okay, now I need to go and play a bit more? Or did you feel like maybe I'm going to stay here and, you know, try to get my chance uh, through maybe being off the bench or things like that? What, what's, your, what's your thought process in that time where it's hard to choose between a loan or staying at your, your parent club? It's, it's, it's difficult because, yeah, you, you think, oh, I can stay here, get my chance, and you're getting a sniff, and then... It, with football things change quickly do you know what I mean transfer windows come new players come in and now it's like okay yeah now I need to go somewhere where I'm going to have more opportunity to play kind of thing do you know what I mean and then quickly realising football people say certain things and it doesn't always work out to be how they say and um, loan moves obviously can be difficult it, it's like a, it's a flip of the coin which way you can go do you know what I mean yeah uh, what, what would you say has been your, your, your best loan and why do you think that was your best loan um, I think definitely when I was at Oxford, I think just because I had a coach there in Carl Robinson who was from Liverpool who had seen me play a lot when I was a kid, knew what I was about as a person and um, Gabe just had that belief in me and just said to me, go on the pitch and just be free and do what you know you can do. You know what I mean? So definitely working with him was um, very good for me and definitely hope I can work with him again in the future. Yeah, for, for him, I, I don't know what he has. Obviously, you know way more than I do, but he yeah. just has a knack for young, talented players. Mm. And he gets the best out of them. Yeah. Why do you think that is? And um, how did his style of play help you? I wouldn't even say the style always helped me because when, we, when I was there, we, when I started there, we were, um, weren't doing well in the league. And sometimes it was just going into games and getting points and um, sometimes it didn't even suit the way I wanted to play but he just he's very he's a very good man manager he will come to you and he'll speak to you you know that with him he has that certain belief in you do you know what I mean he will tell you straight up I, I believe in you like do you know what I mean and he'll make you feel comfortable when you go on the pitch to go and do um, what you can do and even if it doesn't work out he'll still come and speak to you and, and tell you certain things and work with you. And with him, you don't feel like there's it's pressure. You obviously put pressure on yourself as a player, but you you know that you've got someone in the dugout that's behind you and you make he makes you want to play for him, whereas a lot of managers, a lot of managers, it can be the opposite of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so 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 adding on to that, um, how he made you feel and, you know, his belief in you, um, adding two more things um, in terms of, how you play and how you are as a person. What are two more things adding on to the manager's faith in you, um, which allows you to play to the best of your ability? Um, I think, obviously, alongside having somebody in the dugout that you you know is um, positive, believes in you, etc. Just your mentality, um, in terms of, like I said, being free and stuff. But with football you'll know, especially being an attacker, confidence is everything. Confidence determines whether a player looks mediocre or even terrible to looking like the best player on the pitch. His confidence will be the differentiating factor, do you know what I mean, in terms of the way he plays and what he can do on the pitch. So um, for me, working on my finishing and lots of repetitions after training or just on my own, just with a bag of balls, just getting my repetition and techniques and um, doing things so you don't have to think about it. You know what I mean? Just automating certain techniques and things like that. That gives you that confidence in your ability. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So 
I think little things like that and staying on top of how you feel, just doing these things where you're just doing a lot of repetitions, it just makes you feel good. Do you know what I mean? And then you'll find that when you go on a pitch, you'll do things um, without even thinking about it. So yeah, definitely say um, that little bit of extra work. It may only be 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes after a session or whatever, um, for, especially for attacking players, it's huge. So um, obviously your time at Oxford was, was, was a good one. Um, did you feel like at the time, you know, if, if I stayed longer, maybe who knows what could have happened? You know, you could have end up. Was it finishing the season with them or renewing? No, I did. Um, I did finish the season with them, um, and then the next season I had obviously the option to go back, but obviously choose chose to step to go abroad. Um, but yeah, obviously, obviously hindsight is a beautiful hindsight, thing. Hindsight, hindsight, hindsight. Yeah. And people always say, um, maybe could have done things differently, but um, still speak to obviously. Uh, robot at times and definitely hopefully that's a door that may still be open you never know sounds interesting sounds interesting so um obviously uh quarantine has hit and um obviously during this time it, it's kind of you know stopped a lot of people in your in their momentum uh, now the season's finished uh, what would you say is the plan for the future and um what kind of things have you learned from all of your experience because you've got a ton of experience for still a young player um yeah, yeah. Think, um, well in terms of my experience i think um as a as a footballer and as a young player you you have to um you get yourself so emotionally invested in every little thing do you know what i mean to do with the game within your performance and you players will notice you it affects you so much emotionally whether things go well or whether they don't go well and I think as a player you have to you have to maintain that like attention to detail um, in terms of your preparation your performance and everything but you can't let it affect you emotionally um, as much as I used to do as a young player because with football you'll find that if you do that emotionally you'll just be like this like all the time and you'll be too low at some points and then if you can't let yourself get too high at certain points do you know what I mean so definitely just um emotionally kind of keeping yourself in check so obviously you, you care about everything that's going on but you can't let it let things get to you so much that would probably be a big piece of advice and then probably for me next obviously with everything that's going on um, it's a bit difficult, you know, um, speaking to Watford, they don't 100% know how the season's going to be concluded, not 100% sure whether there'll be a Premier League or Championship team next season. And obviously, I think that will have a, a big impact on what I do next season, do you know what I mean? So it's a little bit up in the air right now, but there's um, obviously quite a few options. So it's just um, a matter of waiting, really, to see how things pan out and then making a decision from there. For players wanting to go abroad, um, and they're not sure on their experience, what advice would you give them and what things to look out for? And, um, yeah, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, I definitely say if you get the opportunity to do it, because um, in players, English players, especially in England, you get caught up in the fact that, yeah, everybody sees uh, England as the pinnacle. Mm. It does mean it's great when you're there and if you can get in and you're playing regularly at top level, it's going to be unbelievable and you're, you're at the pinnacle. But at the same time, everybody around the world sees it as the same and everybody wants to come. So opportunities do become few and far between. You'll, I'm 100% sure like you'll be able to sit here now and name five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players that you know that are capable and can play at the level, at the top level that you, you feel they could do that in the Premier League but just because of the fact that they're English or being in England um, for such a long time just haven't gotten the opportunity do you know what I mean but you fully think that and anybody around them fully thinks that they are capable do you know what I mean yeah um, going abroad there's, a, there's, there's definitely a lot of opportunities so if you do get a chance I definitely say for for um, players to definitely seriously consider it thanks for coming on um and, and thanks for being honest man obviously um 
you know, your 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 career so far has been a, a very experienced one, a very travelled one. Um, a lot of managers, a lot of players, um, a lot of wisdom for a young player as well. You know, um, some people they don't get the experiences that you 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 have got, and um, that will you know that will carry a long way for you um, leading up into the next part of your career. Um, I feel like um, with you, you have the talent to go to the top. Uh, I think it's just down to opportunities and, like you said, um, playing in your natural state, whether that be, um, you know, you, you have the, the background around you, maybe if it's closer to home or maybe if it's like, uh, you know, situational with uh, the club at the time. But if all of those things mesh together, I feel like um, you, you have the capabilities of, of going to the top. And we're all young, so there's still a lot of time left. Um, and, yeah, I would just like to say thanks for coming on. Uh, thanks for being honest, and hopefully we can do this again, bro. Definitely, bro, man. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it.